Um, we've had a fantastic day here today with the uh, Anglin Trust and the Environment Agency. We've engaged with um, some of the young citizens from the uh, Polish Catholic schools today. Great to see the presentation in the schools today. Uh, you need youngsters in the school. Uh, seeing Polish kids brought into it as well is a bonus for us. They were very happy, they learned quite a lot of this, what I've seen, and also they were very happy when they could speak with the environmental agency as well. It's absolutely brilliant building bridges is, it gets the children off the Rex boxes, off the phone, and back into nature, back in the outdoors, and once I've had that first fish, they're hooked normally. The fact is it's hard to correct something that's instilled in someone for many years, if you can teach the kids young then they're going to understand the British way of fishing, our laws, our regulations, facts of having a licence, catch and release. You don't get that with the older generation, they're set in their ways, this is the only way to tackle it. There's been obviously across the UK I think a lot of criticism around lack of um, youngsters coming into our sport. Once you're fishing there is no language barrier because everybody's got a rod in their hand. Uh, there's a lack of children coming through and it's great to see it fishing and the rules, which are very important, and we have to follow in UK, you know, and, and so what, what we can say that was great about this presentation, what did you like most? I really liked when you like throwed the fishes um, all around and everyone was trying to catch them. Okay, that was great fun, I think we have, we saw a lot of fish flying today, but we learned as well, you know, about, you know, what, what fish we can, we can actually, you know, to the river as well. There was a quiz about the fish which we really like it, yes? The more children and youngsters we'll, we have on the bank, the better. And if we teach our young ones how to fish correctly and the rules and the laws of this country, it will be passed on through generations and on to the parents, their uncles. It's beneficial all the way around. What, what, what else we, we learned today from this uh, presentation? We know how to do when we're fishing. Yes, that's very important, you know. So we can enjoy when we're fishing, yes, yeah? because this is a very great fun activity with the family, yes, and, and, and parents. But when, when we go for fishing in the UK, you know, we have to have the license. Without the license, we go for fishing if it's illegal and can, you know, just, we can get fined for that reason. So that's very important. We're holding a coaching session on one of our lakes for the building bridges to come on and bring their children and give them free coaching. It gives them the first skills, some of them in fishing, and we find with a lot of the youngsters that once they've got the taste for it, they've got the bug. And seeing the enthusiasm today from uh, the children of different age groups and probably about as young as, young as eight or nine up until up to sort of 12 and 13, just a fantastic day with uh, learning on issues about fish, how to catch fish, and uh, more importantly, I think the enjoyment of our sport and how we involve the youngsters in what, what we do. So we've had some great instruction from the Environment Agency around fishing rules in terms of licensing and what they can do, and some fantastic quizzes that were done with the engagement of the children around what type of fish they should sit, what they, type of fish they're able to catch, what they, can, uh, what they can and can't do with the fish once they've been caught, all these key issues that I know a lot of people talk about. But um, yeah, some fantastic engagement from all the children today and it's been a wonderful day for everyone that's been here.